Uh, this is Eugene Gloria, Assimilation. On board the Victory Line bus, boring down Kennan Road, from a weekend in Baguio, is the bus driver's sideline. A Coleman chest full of cold Cokes and Sprites, a loaf sack of sandwiches wrapped in pink napkin and cellophane. My hunger sated by thin white bread thick with mayonnaise, diced pickles and slim slice of ham. What's mere snack for my gaunt Filipino seatmate was my American lunch, a habit of eating shaped by boyhood shame. You see, there was a time when I believed that a meal meant at least a plate of rice with a sauce dish like kare kare or pinak bet pungent with bagoong. But homeboys like us are marked by experience of not being part of the whole in a playground full of white kids lined on red painted benches in the fall chill of noon, lunch pails bright with their favorite cartoons and a thermos of milk, or brown paper sacks with glad bags of chips, peeled sun-kissed, mom's special sandwich with crisp leaf of lettuce, and pressed turkey thick in between, crumbed with a breakfast table bread. I remember that first day of school, my mother, with the purest intention, took two sheets of foil, hollowed with a cup of steamed rice and a helping of last night's caldereta, chunks of potatoes, sliced red peppers, and a redder sauce with beef. And I, with hunger, could not bring myself to eat. A shame to be more different than what my face had already betrayed, the rice I hid from my schoolmates. Next morning, my mother grasped the appropriate combination. Fruit, sandwich, cut in two triangles, handful of chips, my best broken English. And weeks passed while the scattered rice beneath the length of that red painted bench blackened with the schoolyard's dirt. That was Assimilation by Eugene Gloria.